Hello friends, this video on body movements part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The next type of joint is the pivotal joint here. One bone pivots within another bone that forms a ring. So here as you can see you have one bone which pivots within another bony structure like this that forms a ring. So it is a ring like structure. Now this other bone that is let's call this bone number 1 and let's call this structure as 2. So now bone number 1 can actually slide over this ring bony ring like structure. So because of this now this ring is not a complete ring right. So this half ring can easily be covered by the first bone so therefore it can actually move or slide over this ring which allows a rotatory movement around the single axis so that single axis would be this axis and around this axis it can actually move back and forth so the moving bone rotates within this ring so it allows only rotary movement so it will not allow any other type of movement so like unlike uh, the ball and socket joint where any type of free movement is allowed here the movement would be limited only rotary movement will be allowed so let's take an example like when we turn our head from side to side or when we turn our head from front to back that is down and up what happens so that turning is like you do not turn it completely you cannot turn your head completely like this complete rotation is not possible but we can definitely rotate it this way again this way this way again this way so basically a rotate rotary movement but it is not complete rotation it is partial rotation that is because of this bony structure which is present but this bony structure will only allow half rotation so this kind of movement is due to the presence of a pivotal joint where the neck and the head is joined. So that is why we have this type of movement at our neck. So this is an example of pivotal joint. In fact, this is how it works. So basically you see that every type of joint, now that we have spoken about three basic types of joint. One is fixed joint where no movement is allowed. Next is cartilaginous joint where limited movement is allowed like the backbone. And the third one is synovia joint where a good amount of movement is allowed. But in Synovial joints also, some joints, their structure is such that they allow considerably more movements. Whereas at, in case of some other joints, the structure is such that they allow very limited movement. So by looking at these examples, you can get an idea. Ball and socket joint is like completely flexible. It allows any kind of free movement. Pivotal joint, little less flexible. So it, it only allows rotary movement. Now as we move ahead and go to the hinge joint, we see that here bones can move only along one axis to bend or extend. So then here the bones can only bend or extend. For example, think of uh, the scenario when you open a door. So how the door moves? So the door can actually either go this way or this way. So it can just move at an angle and the maximum angle maybe could be this much not more than that right so basically from here to here it can move at any angle but it can only extend or bend that's it it cannot rotate either partially or fully so this type the best example of hinge joint would be the knee cap so at the knee also you see from knee we can make our knee straight we can bend it so that's all that is the only way we can move our knees so these joints are formed between bones such that the bones can move only along one axis to extend or to bend so it only allows back and forth movement so if if you take the example of our knee so we can make our knee like this while kicking a football we can also straighten our knee like this so basically we can move it from this angle to this angle so earlier it was like this so you see at only at this angle we can either bend it or we can extend it so when we bend it like this we call this as flexon flex means to bend to contract so that is flexon and when we extend it like this that is called extension so whenever it comes to a hinge joint it 
causes a movement which is either an extension or a flexor flexon so let's look at some examples which will make it more clear so think of elbow so from the elbow again you can either make it straight which is nothing but extension or you can bend it or you can fold it so that is nothing but flexion so these these this is these are the only two possible movements that you can do with your elbow so whenever you are extending it that's extension whenever you are taking it towards you that's flexion knee so knee also you see that what is this this is extension but when you look at it you are folding it so that is flexion think of ankle so for ankle also when you make it like this that is extension and when you fold it this way that is flexion so each of these are examples of hinge joint so whichever part of your body you feel that you can move it only back and forth you cannot rotate it at all so they are all examples of hinge joint so when you look at these examples you see that these type of joints uh, the hinge joints especially their two bones are connected in such a way that either the bones would come near each other that is they would try to decrease the angle between them or the bones would move away from each other so when they move away from each other then we call this as an extension and when they come towards each other we call it as a flexion so one very good example would be the joints between the bones of fingers or toes so there also the bones are able to flex to decrease the angle between them so if you look at the distance between your fingers do you think that you can rotate your fingers no you can just bend your fingers to increase the distance or increase the angle between them that's all you can do so the limited amount of movement is allowed so that is also an example of hinge joint thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again